very clear. They expect to be, although Times Now is in the UK, uh, I think probably Z's channels is expected to be the first one uh, with a distinctly international flavor, right? Distinctly so. international flavor. And you've got your business model correct? I'll come to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a dipstick survey right now with the people um, here. How many of you would like to have an international channel out of India giving the India perspective without a promoter-led agenda? <laughs> Ah, yes. Is that possible though? Let's look at the fact that we're in an idealistic world. Yes. They are not the audience they're catering to. <laughs> it's all outside India. So uh, I, just I, I think, yeah. <laughs> I think thanks for, thanks to Suparna for bringing in that glorious Indian word called promoter, which for the benefit of Anna, it basically means founders. And you have in Russia a word called oligarch, which is yeah. pretty much the same. So we say promoter when you want to say oligarch. Uh, so, yeah, there is always the... He who pays the piper calls the tune syndrome. We trust and hope uh, smart new generation editors will walk that wonderful tightrope between Lakshmi and Saraswati, as I often say. <laughs> you know. Thank you so much. One last call for any questions right there at the back. Yes, the lady there, the usherer, will run to you with the microphone. No, she's going to be there before you know it. Please identify yourself and the channel that you represent in case you're representing a channel and the panelists you'd like to pose your question to. Hi, uh, uh, I'm not uh, from any channel. I'm just a research scholar and my name is Anindita and uh, this uh, question goes to the entire panel. Like, I would just like to ask that uh, before we as an audience or uh, like uh, we could decide, like uh, she kind of said that, please raise your hand how many of you would say yes or no, you had already decided. So basically my question goes that what is, who are the voice? Are we the voice or you the voice? Who is, who are the voice? Who is going to be the voice on, uh, who, who do you want to ask this question? To I the entire she, panel. She I mean, to the I'd love to ask, uh, see Anna answer that question, you know, are the people forgotten in this whole business of country versus country? Absolutely not. I think the people are the voice and I think that affects absolutely every aspect of this debate. Um, I know we brought up the issue of who is the regulator, what is the regulator, the people are the regulator. If people, um, you know, if people everywhere thought that RT is just blatant Kremlin propaganda and that's it, there would be no reason for them to watch us on TV, on digital platforms in such really significant numbers that they do. Uh, we live, you know, social media, which again is enabled by people, uh, is the checks and balances. If there is uh, footage or any kind of report that is completely divorced from reality, then right away there's going to be just swarms of people on Twitter, on Facebook saying not true, not true, putting pictures, putting, you know, any kind of information on there and keeping the people in check. So we're, you know, we see our role as representing people that might not have had that kind of voice before, but we also trust, we trust our viewers. We don't want to, we would never underestimate them. Uh, we want them, you know, we trust them to make the judgment call on what is, what is the closest to, you know, what version is the closest to the truth by having access to many different versions. And we trust them to keep all of us in check. That's right. Yeah. The journalist is your eyes and ears to the ground. That's why, in some ways, you as the audience hires them. They may you know, be chosen, they may get the education and then come to you. But the social media platforms today are your engagement platforms, where the connectivity and the voice can then be you know, exchanged. They can get feedback and then come back to you. You may have questions, you may raise those. But at the end of the day, you're sending these people out. We are not you know, by ourselves, we are nothing. But you, we are your eyes and ears. We go out for you and bring you back information as authentically as possible without be, having the flag-waving jingoism uh, in our coverage. Yeah. Anybody else? We're really short of time. Yes, I think uh, I, I, I'd hear d differ a bit of the question if I understood. I was covering, I'll give you an example of my incidents. I was covering the Iraq war. I was embedded with the American. Now, when I was reporting the news in the first few days before I went into captivity, 
Um, there was people in the studio sitting and telling me, uh, your report is not what the impulse on the street are. They're anti-American, anti this. You should show how much the, the resistance of the Iraqi people. I said, I am embedded journalist with the American. They moved inside 150 kilometers, and I cannot tell you my location. But I can tell you that there are people. I am not here to manufacture news for you. I will report the news as it happened in the street. So when I was captured by the Iraqi government, troops, it was my story that saved me from being executed. Why? Because I was not part, it's coming up, it's, I wasn't part of the propaganda machine. Despite the fact that they had an agenda, I stick to my reporting. So when they confiscated my camera, confiscated the, 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 the tape and they watched it, and that they saw that how I was reporting, confronting with the American soldiers, Discussing with the, Israel, uh, the, the Iraqi prisoners of war, they found the difference. So I think people power, it's the generation, the era now, yes we will, but you will build up your opinion only when the time comes you will be, like you're watching CNN, there will be share viewers on every channel in India like anywhere. So global channels is a big challenge and I don't want to go beyond that. All right, let me wind up by saying, uh, Supuna, anything more? No. We are through, I think, uh, let me end it, this is the eve of Valentine's Day, so let me end it on a very romantic note that, you know, I'm a fan of world music and world cinema. So I've seen directors and musicians from everywhere. I love music from Mali and Western Africa. So, you know, there's also a case for world news, not in a branded, one, single brand one. There's a case for variety of various, well, uh, just as we've discovered world news now, uh, world music now, thanks to A.R. Rahman, I think there's a case to discover various flavors of news, uh, just like ice cream, I think. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the panel as much. Thank as you I so did. much, Madhavan, for steering this panel. And as a token of appreciation, uh, we would like to offer you on something on behalf of Exchange for Media Group. And to present that token of appreciation, may I call upon Mr. Nikhil Vagle, Editor-in-Chief of Maharashtra One, to please uh, come up on stage and offer a token of appreciation on behalf of the Exchange for Media Group. We've spoken about a lot of stuff. We've spoken, spoken about the first victim being truth in any conflict zone. We've spoken about opinions of mass destruction as opposed to weapons of mass destruction. We've also spoken about, and if I'm allowed to use the word, the hegemony of the Western media and the importance of an India perspective in the global scenario. Can we please back this up with a loud round of applause for our eminent panelists here? Rohit Gandhi, who's representing Z, Saurabh Shukla from News Mobile, Dr. Awad Well, um, um, a popular commentator on the Middle East, Madhavan Narayanan from Hindustan Times, Anna, of course, from Russia TV, and Avinash Pandey from ABP News. I think ABP should also follow suit with Z. What do you say, Avinash? Thank you all for a wonderful panel. Um, yes, thank you so much. And there's going to be alcohol very shortly. I'm the only one who's getting wine right now because I'm going to be standing on that stage for the next two hours without coming down while you are going to be served a lot of alcohol here. All right, I'm just requesting you to please exit this place for just about 10 minutes from now and we will be back to felicitate the best in the news broadcast fraternity. Keep on tweeting using hashtag Enba2015. That's hashtag Enba2015. You want to say something to me? Use my Twitter handle at SimplySoup. That's at SimplySoup. <laughs>